My name is Karen Sims. I am a certified athletic trainer with an additional certification as a cancer exercise specialist. I have worked for TriHealth for almost 11 years and have been running the TriHealth Pavilions Cancer Wellness Program the entire time. Today, I am going to talk with you about the importance of incorporating exercise into your survivorship plan. I'm also going to let you know about our Cancer Wellness Program and how you can take advantage of this wonderful opportunity. First, we are going to talk about why exercise is important in general. Yes, you are a cancer survivor, but you still need to care for the whole you. So how does exercise play a role in the overall care of yourself? To begin, you need to understand that our bodies are meant to move. And as we rely more and more on automation and other conveniences, we move less and less throughout our daily lives. Movement through exercise or other physical activities becomes something we need to think about and consciously make part of our daily routine. There are many benefits to an active lifestyle. Being active reduces the risk of cardiovascular disease, helps keep our blood pressure in a healthy range, and manages our cholesterol ratios by increasing the amount of HDL, or good cholesterol, our bodies produce. Exercise limits the risk of developing type 2 diabetes and will help us manage our glucose and insulin levels if we are dealing with diabetes. Increased activity helps us manage our weight by increasing our metabolism and reducing fatigue. Weight-bearing activity can reduce our risk of osteoporosis and getting stronger helps us maintain our independence. There are also many studies that show physical activity is more effective than medication in the treatment of anxiety and depression. There is also evidence that being physically active can reduce the risk of developing some cancers, among them breast, colon, and prostate. Even knowing the general benefits of exercise, cancer survivors have historically been told to rest. Research into exercise and cancer is relatively new. The earliest studies were not done until the 1990s. The field has grown even more in the last decade. In 2019, the American College of Sports Medicine, ACSM, convened an expert panel with researchers from the Department of Public Health Sciences at the Penn State College of Medicine, and the National Cancer Institute's Division of Cancer Epidemiology and Genetics leading the group. They review, reviewed more than 1,000 randomized controlled trials in the field. Their primary conclusion is that we now have evidence that those living with and beyond cancer will benefit from being more physically active and that we now know how much and what type of physical activity is needed to address several cancer-related health outcomes. Specifically, Physical activity was found to improve anxiety, depression, fatigue, quality of life, and physical function. They also concluded that physical activity does not increase the risk of developing lymphedema. They even found that exercise after diagnosis of breast, colon, and prostate cancer is associated with longer survival. So what are the different types of exercise and how much of each are needed to have an effective exercise program? Before I answer that question, it is important to remember that any activity is better than no activity. Do not approach this as if I cannot do all the recommended activity, it is not worth doing any. Again, any activity is better than no activity. The three main types of exercise are cardiovascular, strengthening, and flexibility. Cardiovascular exercise or physical activity is any activity that increases your heart rate. Walking, Jogging, swimming, and dancing are all examples of cardiovascular activities. The general recommendation by the ACSM for this type of exercise is 150 minutes per week at a moderate intensity. You can accumulate the 150 minutes however you like, but research seems to indicate that getting to a point where you can do 30 minutes of physical activity five days per week is optimal. Moderate intensity means that while participating in the activity, you are breathing heavier than normal, but can still talk. Strength training or resistance training is a group of exercises designed to challenge your muscles and help develop strength. There are not as many options for specific activities, but what you use for resistance can be quite varied. Dumbbells, resistance bands, body weight, water, or machines are all useful tools in developing a strength training routine. 
The recommendation for a strengthening routine is eight to 10 exercises targeting the major muscle groups, completing two sets of eight to 15 repetitions of each exercise. This type of exercise only needs to be done two days per week, making sure not to do these exercises on two consecutive days. Flexibility or stretching exercise are exercises that lengthen our muscles. These exercises are very often overlooked in our exercise routines, but they are very important in helping our bodies recover from exercise and allowing our joints to move more freely. Stretching exercises should always be gentle and should be held for 30 to 60 seconds. These exercises can be done as often as you like, but should be done at the end of any exercise session. The hardest part of any exercise program is getting started. Once you have decided to embark on a new program, it is easy to want to jump right in and go for it. The two biggest mistakes people make when either starting or restarting an exercise program are starting too fast and or doing the wrong activity. Whether you are new to exercise or have exercised in the past, starting a new program after treatment needs to be done in a slow, progressive manner. This is especially hard if you are used to exercising regularly pre-treatment. The key to being successful in starting a new program is to take things one step at a time. Instead of trying to do 150 minutes of cardio exercise the first week, try picking three days and do 10 to 15 minutes each day. Find out what your body can tolerate and start there. When doing strengthening exercises for the first time, use just your body weight as resistance. And as you can do those exercises successfully, then add additional resistance. As you increase your strength and endurance, you can gradually add more time or intensity to your cardio and add more resistance or repetitions to your strength training. Your body will let you know when you are able to advance. It will also let you know when enough is enough on any given day. It is very important that you allow yourself to listen to what your body is telling you. You do want to challenge yourself as that is how we get stronger and have more endurance. But if we push too hard, we can get ourselves into a downward spiral of pain and or fatigue that is very difficult to recover from. In our medical exercise space at the pavilion, we have some motivational posters hanging. The most important message on our posters is a little progress each day adds up to big results. We know it can be intimidating or challenging to begin an exercise program as you are recovering from treatment. The TriHealth Fitness and Health Pavilion, located in the Blue Ash Montgomery area, has been offering a cancer wellness exercise program for 12 years now. The program has changed over the years, but one thing has remained constant, the outcomes of our participants. The majority have improved their sleep, 98% improved both their strength and their cardiovascular endurance, and the best outcome of all, 100% of those who have participated have said that they have improved their overall feeling of well-being and their quality of life. This program is open to any cancer survivor that is currently in treatment or who has finished treatment within approximately the last year. We do offer additional programming for those that have been out of treatment longer but still need help in getting started on an exercise program. Currently, our cancer wellness program is 12 weeks long. Participants attend two classes per week. Classes are about an hour long and there is time for cardio, strength training, and flexibility exercises. We will add in balance exercises for those that need balance training. Classes meet on Tuesdays and Thursdays and we have five class times to choose from. Now, when I say classes, a lot of people think of a group fitness class where the instructor is up in front leading the class and everyone is doing the same thing. This is definitely not what our classes are like. We meet each person at whatever level they are currently at and help develop a program that will meet their needs. Because we have rolling admission, there are people at different points in their program at all times. There is always an instructor there to teach proper form, help modify exercises when needed, and for moral support. I think the best aspect of our program is the camaraderie that is formed between participants. This program is generously funded by the Bethesda Foundation and the TriHealth Cancer Institute, so there is no charge to the participant to attend. If you are interested in registering for the program, you can contact me at 513-246-2622.
You can also call the TriHealth Fitness and Health Pavilion's main number, which can be found at trihealth.com, and ask for me. I will be happy to help you get started.